Yes, boys and girls, welcome. Thank you guys so much, man. This is episode three, bro. You no know one thing I've learned talking about stuff here yeah, is always good. Like a problem, a problem spoken about is already half solved in a way. I've heard that before. It's weird, but it's kind of true. I could tell you from experience, fam. I've been holding all of all this in me, man. I've been holding it in me. Look at me, blood. Look at me. My mom always tells me when we're on the phone. Say, son, you always look better, man. What's going on with you? How do you think that makes me feel, blood? Knowing all I'm doing, all the struggles I'm having to get through. All because I want to change the trajectory of my family, fam. Because every other person has been one kind of way. I've got to do so many sacrifices, so many different stuff to take us to a, a, a different altitude. Because my family has been, has been consistently a way that I wasn't born to be in. And I, I'll always believe it till it happens that I was born to change my family's name, blood. Hey, guys, let me let me continue the story. So, um, we're now in, we're now, I've now, uh, you know, found out that I have to stay in America against my will, you know. Like, I have to stay. Oh, sorry, guys, the call is coming in. I have to end that. I have to stay in America against my will type thing, you know, I have to just do what I can, basically, and to me, it was like, Lord have mercy, like, what did these guys actually expect me to do, the UK, for you to just put me out there, say, oh, I'm not a citizen of the UK, clearly, and nor do I aspire to be one, I'm saying this on record. Like, if it happens, I, I might not turn it down, depending on the factors involved. But it's not something I'll chase. And this has been the clearest evidence I could find. Bro, this guy said, oh, I can't be let into the plane. Even after I followed every guideline they put on their website. Just to make sure I'm on the right side. You know, I don't want no trouble. I came here to coach kids. I got kids back that I want to go keep coaching <sighs> guys so they said I, I couldn't go i was left there in the airport i had to contact the company even contacting them you know i just feel so you know irresponsible at this point i'm like oh so my my card got missing now i did everything i was supposed to do i reported it this should be a normal case and i'm let to, i'm allowed to go back but i'm not now i'm here illegally now I have to think about all this stuff like fam. I don't even let's not talk about me contacting any family member. There's nobody has ideas about stuff like this, boys and girls. That's where I come from. They they the yo, my mom was the one who did the most in terms of knowing about immigration stuff, traveling out this down the third. That's why, like I told you guys, I just believe I was born to come into this and take it to the next level. My mom was a different woman in her own right too, growing up. In her own right, bro, if I tell you what that woman had to go through, man. Let's allow that. Let's allow that for now, man, later on. But yeah, so now I'm left in this country. I've told the company. They're trying to figure out how they can help me. They, long story short, they book a hotel for me like for a week. Uh, it's called, what's it called? Uh, it's in Atlanta. And I, I have it on my phone, you know. They're green like this. The experience, the experience, the express. It's not express. It's something else. But yeah, it's a calm hotel though. It's like a motel. Let me put it like that. Motel nothing not the extra vegan you know it's just cool and i was like okay at least they're offering to help you know a week for me to you know i kept on calling the embassy exchanging emails what is going on when can i leave like talk to me i'm out here no family in atlanta <sighs> bro and obviously you can imagine how my mom was of panicking her son is out there doing a farm 
looking back at it our life story of my family yeah we're always meant to live this kind of wild life to be fair to change the family name bro let me just put this in there yeah since since dad went away my bro's been in one country my mom in one country i in one country we've never been in the same place i'm talking over four years ago we've had to figure life out in our different places it's cool though because i have that vision that someday we'll all be back together in a place happy looking back at all this like yo it's cool so now the company helps me yeah they find a place i'm staying there for a week i'm trying to figure it out bro i'm talking to them day in day out and one thing we came up with was they offered the opportunity for me to just continue coaching with them for the time being so i I can at least you know i wasn't gonna get paid because you know they were paying for my hotel stuff and i understood it it's fine to be fair like i appreciated the effort they were at least putting to you know get me in a place and whatnot so it was cool I enjoy coaching this thing so paying me or not paying me didn't really bother me to be fair I enjoyed it so now I moved to North uh, South Carolina because from Atlanta to South Carolina one hour trip it took me and the um, the lady who helped me to go she works with the company we went there I met this new set of boys new set of coaches who were still coaching because everyone went home at different times so these guys were still coaching they were gonna go home later on though so we're coaching everything was fine not too bad and next thing you know those guys had to go then i had to move again because the governments have not they hadn't solved the situation so i still had to you know try and still stay so i was at another home now another family in north carolina with this set of guys and these were the last set to leave like anyone else was gonna stay in america probably had you know the visa and rights to stay and continue coaching but these were the last set of guys now this was north carolina so i moved there with these guys it was a guy and a girl amazing experience i loved it the family brilliant real life experience you know not all gold but it was it was amazing i always take the positives like i said boys and girls so it's cool next thing you know now i have to go back to atlanta because these guys realize even till now no one's replying me the the embassy and the uk and the us the immigration place they're all just giving me all these generic replies oh we've sent the situation to a uh you know a higher level for them to look into it and i'm like boy lord what is really going on every human authority I could put my trust to I quit essentially leaving me to dry leaving me alone they're doing I I'm clearly not as important bro and I understood that so now I'm waiting for solutions that that really seem delusional at this point like it's like I'm waiting on nothing because it's clear that these guys are just replying me just so they can you know on that end at least they saw the situation and they tried you know and for me it's like what am i supposed to do i've got my masters waiting for me in the uk i spoke to even my university at this point because i had to get them involved i'm like what's going on they were trying to solve it as much as they could but guys like i said my time in north carolina ended i had to go back to atlanta because these the boy and the girl they had to go back to the uk their time was up so in atlanta now they booked me a place for me to stay and see what happens you know let's see what happens okay this was the time they booked the the lo- the week long stay the first time i told you a week it wasn't a week it was like a couple days after the whole airport thing so i can at least then move on to south carolina you know the next plan was for me to move so i didn't really stay a week i just stayed a couple days and whatnot so this time when i came back from north carolina after you know south then we moved to north now the people from north they have to go back to england the coaches so now i have to go back to atlanta now to the base the headquarters of the company so now they booked a week-long stay for me try and solve this situation daniel and i'm like try me 
I mean, there's really nothing I could do, but you big company, is there not something we can do? Guys, the reality was, after that week, the company basically said, they're sorry, this is as far as they can go with me, they're gonna have to let me go. I said, let me go? Go and do what? Like, bro, like, man, even thinking about it, man, like, there was really no help anywhere, blood. Like, bro, it was. It's cool, though. It's cool. It's cool. It's life, man. Everything happens for a reason. And it's all happened so I could tell y'all this. So someone could know, bro, no matter what you're going through, it's because the devil knows, blood. If he lets you go, where you can get to, blood. Girl, where you can go. That's why the devil be afflicting you with all this stuff. It's a law and that's why in the midst of all this trouble God still finds a way to find some help for me man that's why it's crazy let me just say this before I end this here because we're, we're already in 11 minutes man I don't want to keep you guys here for too long but after this is when I birthed my first YouTube channel because this is my second one here boys and girls believe it or not when I birthed my first one I actually grew it to a, a good amount Although I wasn't monetized yet, I was just happy that at least I could grow with people were connecting, you know. But yeah, it's cool though. I I let's just leave it here, boys and girls. Let's just leave it here. Let's leave it here. Let's leave it here, man. Where we're at now, the company did the best they could. Took me to North and South Carolina. I'm back in Atlanta now one week has gone by they said they could help they tried to help when they saw that the big organizations weren't doing what they could for me they as a business also just left me so now every authority i put that trust in has basically left me every human help basically so at this point i had to let go and let god have a lovely day boys and girls have a lovely day Take care of yourself. I remember, stay true to yourself. Thank you guys so much for the subscribers, man. Love. Toodles.